10 or 11 maybe. I'm doing some vocals. Um, Troy got all his guitar parts done. Uh, he did them uh, throughout the week. We've been sitting on the entire album now uh, music wise for the most part. It's not really mixed 100%. It's not really mastered. I've been sitting on that. Um, listening to it. I got some vocal ideas. Uh, I already had all the stuff pretty much written and, and laid out but there are a couple spots where I uh, uh, kind of figured out different ways to syncopate, different words, whatever. Um, it's all part of the recording process. I'm here today. It's Saturday. Um, let see what day it is. The 20th of February, and we're going to do some vocal tracks. So thanks for tuning in. Do you like it or not? I think so. Okay. I don't know. What do you think? Should I hold out longer? Uh, here, listen to this and then make a judgment. It's just that easy, boys and girls. Uh, this is the vocal booth. This is where all the uh, magic happens. It is. I'm getting a crazy buzz in my headset. Some sort of a glitch. Or We're using uh, a blue microphone. A hiccup. We have this Auralex uh, vocal screen. And I just have to stand like this with these headphones on that are like louder than your Dr. Dre beats and louder than anything. Yeah. And it's just like, bleh, and it sounds like I'm live with the with the band. I got to trick my mind into believing that I am on stage somewhere. About but loud. then if you look around, clearly I'm just in a room by myself with headphones on and with, it's really weird. With James Dean and... Uh... The Smiths. This is really the hardest part of singing in a band is like doing it this way. Like I'm so used to having a guitar in my hands. You'll probably notice at some point if Jim is in here recording, like I'll actually do this while I'm singing Cause air guitar. Because he's to used make, to. It feels natural. Yeah. It's weird. It's such a weird thing. Whatever it takes to get like the best take possible. If you feel like you got an air guitar. <laughs> like why record. though? Like why is that a thing? Like for the the viewers right now are like. It's you like know, you know it world. better as you're playing it. Yeah, right. Like I'm, I know where where I'm at chord wise. Yeah, and helping. it's all in sync. That sounds better, Troy. I, that sounds. There's not a buzz, but I can't hear my my uh, mic. You take such good care of your stuff. I don't know. I don't think it's a cable. Uh huh. Buddy, I'm back. You just just be gone. So numb. And you know I hate to hear it. Get nothing done. Um, that part where it's like, learn to let it go. Like, there's going to be a slight overlap there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you can just start it up on a separate track and I'll come in where it should overlap. Oh. I'm so impressed, I feel like I probably shouldn't be in here. He's ripping it so hard. Nah, you're fine. Then I'll spin on Troll. Oh, yeah. I want to redo that right off the bat. I miss theirs. There's the, a, the Just Be Gone. Line. There's a party at. I started with word part. See, these are like the little intricacies that not too many people, like, we're literally talking about a half a second of a vocal take. But we're gonna, you know, we want it to be how we want it. Real quick, I'll, uh, let's chunk it 65. Dying to know! <laughs> I don't know where I'm singing, where I'm not. How do you feel like it's going so far? Pretty on par with how we do things. Yeah. Yeah, I think good. it sounds incredible. But I'm well, the see. crazy thing is, is like when we listen to it with the music right now, the vocals are just they're cranked, yeah, so we can hear way it. out front. The mix isn't right, so yeah. uh, anything that I might have any reservations about will probably sound ten times better when it's when laid, it's mixed in, and he gets a little bit of verb yeah. or, or something, a little slap back on it. It's just it'll sound sick, but uh, right now this is just the raw vocals we're listening to, and they're like ten times louder than all the pretty music. Yeah. So. Um, they have good. to be though, so that so you, you can, can pick, hear. Yeah, so you can pick those things. My voice out. has a lot of texture to it, so there are parts where, like, there there are elements of my vocals when I sing that I cannot control. Uh, once in a while, you hear a little like, 
<laughs> like it, you'll, something will get get caught in there, it just doesn't jive, or it sounds like it was a mess up, but it's yeah. like beyond your control, so you just have to redo it uh, until it here till it sounds the way you want it. What is impressive to me is out of basically you rip through a song, the yeah. whole thing. There's maybe like part of a verse or part and of a chorus. And like one reason. other little part, and then that's it. Right. Like no auto tune here. Yeah. <laughs> it's all it's all my vocals. Yeah. And it's always weird too, because like when we practice, I kind of sing half-assed, and then you know when I play these songs at home on the acoustic, I I sing half-assed. Like, I'm around again. a campfire. Yeah. Uh, and then when I get in here, like I have these ideas of how I'm gonna approach the songs, and then I start doing it, and it just comes out like the way it. I, I wanted it to sound it's like wow okay so it does work so. that's the best part though like having something come out how you envisioned it right is so satisfying yes yeah it's hard to do when you're recording music have you ever done a song whether solo any other band you've been in where you, the song was done but it was so not how so you far thought from what it you was wanted. gonna be right right all the time yeah every time except like it's still time. good it's just not how you envisioned it. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that solo album I did, that God Fearing Boy record, is the only thing I feel like I've ever recorded. Where everything came out. Met all of my expectations. Yeah. Like, I was not let down by one thing in that album. Like, I was like, this is exactly what I wanted. It's the only time it's ever happened. It's probably the only time it's ever going to happen. I don't know why it worked out so well, but it did. What a fulfilling thing that oh, happened. Oh, yeah. I'm still waiting for Even something. Even after this record, will be the best thing I've ever worked on. I'm still waiting for something <laughs> in my life to turn out that way. Still, like, I, fingers crossed. <laughs> this album's going to be good. I, like I said, I was singing to these songs in the car on the way home from Pittsburgh on Wednesday. and uh, Yeah. I was so tired. Like, sometimes, like, when you're in a band, it's hard to explain it. But, like, when you're in a band and you listen to your own band, it's hard to... Yeah. Get beside yourself to hear it as if you don't know how to play the songs. Like yes. I'm constantly being critical. But I was so tired on my way home from Pittsburgh. I I was like half awake. So when I was listening to our album, like I think part of me didn't realize that it was us. Like I don't know. And then I was able to like kind of get a glimpse of it from outside of being a, in the band. I was like, wow, this is actually pretty good. I think. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, we write music that we would like to hear. Although We're I don't, we don't believe it half the time. I don't. <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Die it, you know! And then, like, they all sound the same, but there's little things. Yeah. Hey! Paul made it! Hey! <laughs> Alright. You do one of these each week. This is just gonna go on for months. I love it! <laughs> Think about all that ad revenue we're getting, like uh, a penny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Although, Although we do have ads on there. <laughs> I've made 41 cents in my lifetime from advertisements on my videos. So Alright, three tracks. Vocals done today. Recorded a boatload of stuff and he did no big deal. Uh, he's recording right now, so I appreciate it, Paul. Uh, day one of vocal Ho tracks hopefully. are done. Yeah, we think it's recording. Um, we're doing a split with Bernie's, but don't tell anybody. Um, in one of those tracks, vocals are done for. Two tracks on our full length are done. And uh, that's it. Three songs in, what, about three hours? Three and a half uh, hours? I would say like two hours. Two hours, yeah. I would say. Two? Because, we, well, we had two and a half hours, man. We, we had a little setup time. Yeah, we had some setup time, some breaks in between, you know. Uh, Did good. But it sounds good, and uh, we'll be back next weekend to do maybe another four. Um, then at that point, we're more than halfway done, and then two more weekends, or maybe a Saturday and Sunday, depending on how the old million dollar voice hangs out. <laughs> so, uh, rock and Ten dollar and some change, boys. Ten dollar and some change. That's what we're going to charge you for an album. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the YouTube channel.